Hello and welcome to the Profile Tree YouTube channel. My name is Terence and in today's video we are going to set up a Google My Business page. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button and leave a comment if there's something you want us to cover in a future video. Be sure to subscribe to not miss any videos coming up. Now let's get into the video. Now, what is a Google My Business page? Here is an example. And here is what one looks like on the Google search page. I've used Nike as an example. But if you look at the images, you also have the option to see photos, a map location to see what it looks like outside. You can have a link to your website, directions to your location, and you can put your address and phone number below. Now, Google My Business is a free and easy to use tool for businesses and organizations to manage their online presence across Google. As you can see in this example here, their presence includes photos, a map of their location, and a phone number with links to their website and directions. And this is all used to help customers find your business and to tell them your story. You can verify your business and edit your business's information. The first thing you need to do is go to business.google.com. This will take you to Google My Business. Ensure that you are signed into the correct Gmail account and then we can get started. Find and manage your business. Type in your business name. So in this case, we're going to use profile tree. And if your business pops up below, then you can click on it. If your business does not, you can create a business with this name. In this case, let's create a new business as to not mess with the information that is currently allocated to this account, but we'll keep the name very similar. Now you need to create a business profile. So you give your business a name, I'm just going to add test, and you can give your business a category. In this case, we're going to go with marketing agency, select from the drop down, and then you can click next. Do you want to add a location customers can visit, like a shop or an office? If you have customers coming into your office, then this would be a good option to set up. If you're an online office, then you would select no. Let's select yes in this case and click next. Now you need to enter in the location of your office or your shop. This needs to be an actual location that can be located on Google Maps. Now you need to tell Google exactly where your shop is located. You can click on this red pin and move it to wherever your shop is so that people can find the correct place. You can zoom out and zoom in to get a more precise location. In this case, let's just leave it right there and click next. Do you provide deliveries or home and office visits? For example, if you visit or deliver to your customers, you can let them know where you are willing to go. So we don't offer deliveries, but if you do, you could cl click yes and then set a radius around how far you're willing to go. Let's click on no in our case. What contact details do you want to show to customers? Help customers get in touch by including this info on your business profile. So put a phone number that people can use to reach your business and put a current website. If you don't have a website set up, you can click on I don't need a website or you can get a free website based off of your profile. This will just include your contact information plus a contact us form. You can click on see details Get a complete website with just a click. It's automatically built and uploaded based on your Google My Business listing. In this case, we already have an existing website, so I'm just going to click on next. Stay in the know. Do you want to get updates and recommendations for your business on Google? I would suggest clicking yes, as Google will give you updates, which may help drive more traffic to either your website or to your location or get you more phone calls. If you're not interested, you can click no and then click next. You have now been verified. You can now manage your business profile on Google using your email address and only you and accounts that you authorize can make edits to the business profile on Google. So now when people search for your business, it should come up on the side like this. You can then click next and now you need to add your services. So here I suggest adding a list of services that you offer that would help drive more traffic to either your website or to phone calls. Google has automatically generated an option to choose from. If you do not do this, you don't need to select it. Here you can add your own 
by clicking add custom service and typing in what you do. If you want to add another one, you can do that. And once you're happy with this, you can click next. Now you need to add your opening hours. If you are open every day of the week, select every day. If not, you can select Monday and you say you open at 7.30 and you close at 5. You can then do this for every day of the week. And then you can click next. Now you can add messaging. So you can let customers message your business on Google for free. I would suggest this. Click next. Now you need to add a business description. In your business description, use a few lines to just let people know what you do and why they should sign up with you. This is a free selling point that I would utilize to its full advantage. If you're having trouble writing a good description, you can go to Google support. You can ask them how to add a good business description in Google My Business. This will give you a few key points to add into your description. So I'm just gonna type in anything here really. If you're happy with that, you can click next. Now it's time to add some photos of your business. Here is where you show off your business. You can show off products or services and let customers peek inside your business. They've given you a few examples of what to use here. So the outside of the store or office is a great example. The service that you offer, possibly delivery, or possibly something you offer inside the store, which someone wouldn't be able to see just walking by. You would need to add a photo. I just found a few random stock photos. And if you're happy with that, you can click next. Your business profile is almost ready. And there you have it, your Google My Business page is set up. You can click get started and Google will take you through a couple of prompts which just show you around the interface. You can create posts, add photos or start advertising your business straight from the homepage. You could share a review form for new customers to leave reviews on your business and you can get more people to manage your business page by sending invitations over here. I would recommend using the Google Virtual Tours option if you have a store. This will enhance your online visibility and draw traffic to your business with a 360 interactive experience. This will take people inside your business and show them around your offices. You can simply do this by clicking get started. And that brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to leave a like and a comment below to let us know what we should cover next. Make sure to subscribe to not miss any future videos like this. And thanks for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.